lead heads. Welcome back to the Talking Lead Podcast. This is episode 239. We are glad to be back. We have been traveling for the past couple of weeks. Went down to Florida for the Big Three East Spring Media Event. And we're going to have those interviews from that event coming up in the next few episodes. If you guys didn't get a chance to go and listen to our past two episodes, I pretty much dropped those back-to-back, 237 and 238. We talked about some awesome things. We talked about rising schnauzers. We talked about carbon fiber barrels. We had Adam Kraut, who's running for the NRA board. Adam is also with the Gun Collective. He does the legal brief there. We had our good buddy Ian Strimbeck on, talking about Rune Nation. We talked about 3D printed suppressors and more. So if you missed those episodes, you missed out on a lot of good topics. So make sure you go back and listen to those two episodes. This week, we're going to be talking about sonic gun cleaning. We're going to have our man on the street from SHOT Show, James Rees, with the Firearms Blog. He's going to be talking about some cool things that he saw during the 2018 SHOT Show. And we had Matt with DAC Technologies. He's going to be talking about their awesome little training system. And before we get into that, as always, we want to thank the companies that support the show. And we hope that you guys are going and showing these Companies, your love and support from the Leadhead Brigade. The official optics of Talking Lead, Right On USA, R I T O N USA. They are an American owned company, veteran owned company, family owned company. They're based out of Arizona. They have some of the best glass that you guys are going to lay your eyes on. Their rifle scopes are made from the finest glass from Japan and parts around the world. They're bringing you a wide variety of rifle scopes and optics. They've got binoculars, they've got red dots, they've got magnifiers, and they're working on an awesome range finder as well. If you haven't visited Ride On, make sure you go to rideonusa.com. And they're having a blowout right now on their Gen 1 optics. They're getting ready to, well, actually, they've already come out with uh, several of their Gen 2 lines. So make sure you guys go there, check them out. And uh, on the things that aren't on sale, aren't on clearance, you can use the discount code LEADHEAD. Get a nice big fat discount there from RightOnUSA.com. X Steel Targets. X Steel Targets. The best, most affordable AR500 Steel Targets on the market today are at X Steel Targets. If you guys aren't shooting AR500 Steel Targets, then you're really missing out. There's nothing more satisfying than hearing that. Big old ting when you hit those targets at 50 feet or 2,000 yards. They've got a target specifically for you. If you're into the competition shooting, you're into long range shooting, you're just into going out and having a good time with your buddies on the weekends, weekdays, and uh, setting up fun targets to shoot, they've got them. Check them out, xsteeltargets.com. And then. As you're out shooting those guns, you're going to want to clean them when you get done. So you want to go over to Modern Spartan Systems, modernspartansystems.com, and not just clean your guns, but optimize them with Modern Spartan Systems line of lubes, cleaners, greases. They've got everything there to keep your guns clean, running great, and accurate. Modernspartansystems.com. And oh, by the way, they've even got products for your vehicles that help the life of your engine, extend the life of your engine. Been running their TVT engine oil additive in the old lead sled. And uh, this these past two weeks, I've really put the miles on there, going down to Florida and back and around. Uh, I'm up to close to 315,000 miles now. I'm getting ready to have to put some new shoes on the old girl. She's needing some new tires, so we're going to throw some new tread on there. and We're going to put another, I don't know, Probably sixty to 70,000 miles is about what these last tires have lasted me. So, MarsSpartanSystems.com. And then for you lead heads who like to live the lead head brigade life, you can go to 1776united.com and get the Talking Lead swag. We've got patches. We've got shirts there. Uh, and then they've got a full line of 1776 United branded shirts, hoodies, hats, all kinds of things there as well. 1776united.com, the official swag provider of Talking Lead. A while back, we had a gentleman on the show, uh, Jeremy Smith. Jeremy was uh, Jeremy's with Smith & Bradley Watches. They have come out with a new brand uh, branched under their Smith & Bradley lines called Defy. And they've got a line of watches there. They're more of the active lifestyle 
type watch. Uh, just got a couple of those from Jeremy while we were down in Florida, and I'm trying those out right now. I've got the uh, the combat that I've been trying out, and uh, I'm absolutely loving it. It is feature rich. So you guys go to defi dot com defy and check out those line of of cool watches they got there. So please go and support those that support Talking Lead, uh, even if it's just going to their social media pages and just letting them know that you heard about them from our show. Uh, it means a lot to us and the show and to our sponsors, our supporters of the show. And again, you know, that Leadhead discount code, most of the people who support our show, they're providing you guys with these awesome discounts that you're not going to get just going through uh, the regular means to buy their stuff. So uh, make sure that when you're going and you're buying these products from uh, our sponsors use the lead head discount code. I've got it uniform across the board to make it really easy on you guys. Right on USA, Modern Spartan Systems, uh, X Steel Targets, High Threat Concealment, uh, even Tactical Walls has set up a, a discount code for you lead heads. Uh, that cool concealment furniture that Tactical Walls carries. Uh, just use that discount code lead head there and uh, you're going to get a nice discount. Uh, Medieval Industries set up uh, a discount code for you guys. As these companies are setting these up, a lot of them are time specific and they expire. So if you guys go to one of these companies and it's not active, not working, let me know and I will try to go get it reactivated for you and get you a nice discount. One of the benefits of being part of the Lead Head Brigade, guys. Uh, five years of talking lead. Thank you so much for your support. It's been a great five years. I'm looking forward to five more. And we've been giving stuff away to you leadheads at random. We've been going through our social media pages, picking people out at random, and uh, sending you stuff from our our uh, Talking Lead Swag Vault. Uh, Tactical Squirrel has been sending you guys some of their boxes. Another great company you guys need to go check out, uh, Tactical Squirrel. You can go to our website, TalkingLead.com. Click on the link there and get yourself a monthly subscription box of badasseriness every month. They send you something new, something different. And you can choose to even get ammo in those boxes if you want. Your favorite caliber of ammunition. So check them out also, Tactical Squirrel. Um, and uh, if you just use the link on our website, it'll take you. It'll automatically take you there. They'll know that you're a leadhead. You're going to get uh, the specials that they've got going on. And for your first month's box, they're going to throw something a little extra special in there just because you're a leadhead. If you go to their website directly, then you want to try to use that code LEADHEAD. Uh, so that they'll know and and uh, put that little extra something something in that box for you. Couldn't do this without you guys. I love hearing from the Leadheads. If you guys have comments, suggestions, uh, requests for the show, if you've got a jack wagon you want me to throw on the jack wagon train, you guys can shoot me an email, talkinglead at gmail.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook. Send me a message there. Uh, you want to get in touch with me, hit me up on Facebook. Or just send that email to talkinglead at gmail.com. So last episode, I had thrown out a challenge to you leadheads. Uh, before I get into interviews, I always say, well, I don't always say, but I sometimes say, roll that beautiful bean footage. So I was wanting something a little different. And, and I'd asked you guys to send me some suggestions on uh, something cool that I could say uh, to do that. So thank you for everyone who sent in those suggestions. And uh, the one that I'm going to go with uh, this week, and it may, it may just be my, my go-to, but I may use a different one every week. But uh, Ashley and Alex K, I don't know if you guys want me to say your, your last name or not. So they said, no more beam footage, so let's send that lead down range. So that's what I'm going to use. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to get into our interviews for this week's episode so let's send that lead down range. Thanks to Ashley and Alex. All right, lead heads, welcome back to the 2018 SHOT Show. People stopping by saying, hey, new people, old friends, new friends. Here at the lead quarters, the official lead quarters of the Talking Lead Podcast, Caltech, ladies and gentlemen. And joining me now, we've got James Reeves with the Firearms Blog. And, How's it going, Marty? Thanks for having me. James is no stranger to the show. If you guys recall back when we were invited down to Georgia for the uh, the release of the Gen 5s, uh, we had James on there, and uh, he is uh, a wealth of information, entertainment oh, as on, well, 
and uh, he bad look at ladies. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't know if he's taking or not, but uh, it's an honor to be back on the best <laughs> podcast, the best podcast on the internet. It's well, an honor. well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, you've had the opportunity, unlike me, to actually walk around, see this stuff in person. What's what's really caught your eye? What would you say is the standout for 2018 Shot Show? You can't discuss the 2018 Shot Show without talking about the Franklin Reformation. We were talking about it before we got on the air, right? So you may remember Marty last year. He kind of had the Hudson. It was a, a yes. showstopper, and Inside. and they right, and they've got they did the H9A, which is an aluminum frame version now, which is, in my opinion really what I wanted to begin with and and so that's pretty cool but you know it's great because we get this instant feedback because we're recording videos we're cutting them and 18 hours later they're up on the internet right and then and what's hot it gets the views it gets comments thumbs ups thumbs downs so Hudson was maybe our our hottest last year yes Uh, this year this is the first time we've done two videos on one thing because we did two videos and on the And you're talking about the Franklin, the Franklin Armory Reformation. That's right. So for those of you who have not heard about this, uh, Franklin Armory is a, a company manufacturer. They, they did the uh, binary trigger. That's right. Which uh, fires when you pull it and fires when you release it. You know, I mean, it, you're your own critics on that, so I'm not, no, no comment on it. Right. Well, and then that's the thing is <clears throat> they've, they've definitely – they're no stranger to controversy. You sure. Know, they did the binary yeah. trigger. It's definitely and, controversy. Right. And this and the Reformation, what it is, they had a big reveal. They showed everybody about a week or two teasing, before shot. They teasing teased everybody. Yeah. They said, this is an 11 and a half inch AR-15 that has a butt stock and you don't need a stamp for it. Yeah. And so everybody... We bypassed the SBR right. rules. And, and there was a lot of speculation as to what it was. And a lot of people got it right. They called it right. And they said, if there's no rifling... It's not going to be a rifle. Lo and behold, it's just classified as a firearm. So it's an 11 and a half inch barrel with a buttstock. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it is an SBR AR-15. It is a firearm that looks like an AR. It doesn't have <laughs> right. It doesn't have rifling. Yeah. And well, actually, it's got whether you know like straight rifling. It's got straight lands and grooves. Yeah. But uh, and that's been the source of the controversy is because they're saying with conventional ammo, you're talking about tumbling and four MOA accuracy at a hundred yards. So you've got, you know, the, the comments, people won't stop watching the video and they won't stop talking about it. And it's got its lovers that are saying, hey, this is great. It's an F you to the NFA. Yeah. And it, it's a great way to skirt it. And you got its haters that say it's totally impractical. Right. And from what I, I mean, I don't know. I've got to see it. So I've, I've got to see it. So you guys got a video. Did you a uh, slow-mo video? Um, no, the uh, we yeah, not like a, a Glock. No, um, I actually didn't get to shoot it. Andrew did. Andrew, and Andrew okay. with with TFB TV. Okay. He, uh, he ran over there. I, I just got to to mess with it, and I talked with Jay Jacobson, the president. Yeah, super nice guy. Uh, super nice guy. But cool. it, it, But that was. Now I know he's catching a lot of flack over yep. this. I mean, like you said, there's there's people the you know the haters and the you know the people who just love to to argue and point out this and that, but. Um, people are talking. At the end of the day, people are talking. People are talking about it, and I think I think that's what they wanted. Yeah, you know, for one. Uh, but at the same time, as you talked, you said you talked to him personally. Yes. Was is was his intention to actually bring a, a product, a viable product, to the table, or was it just something, a gimmick to get people to start talking about them? Well, oh, all right, we got Chad with us. Yeah. How's it going, bro? Yeah, Man, good to yeah, see yeah. you, dude. Yeah. Um, we might want to go live on this one because we're talking some, some oh, cool stuff oh, here. Yeah, well, yeah, we're talking. All you got to do is mash the button. Hey, hey, right, I'm we're... illiterate. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Marty. Um, I'm social media literate, man. Oh, that's not true. That's not true at all. You're one of the most astute social media individuals that's I know. That's a big negative. <laughs> Chad will tell you. What am I adding? I've been to jacking this? it up. All right, so as we're getting linked up live here, we'll continue our. Uh, yeah, the loaded. first one. Gotcha. First conversation about the, the Frank. So, my question was. Uh, do you think this was a gimmick just to get people to start talking about it, come by the booth for Shot Show? Or is, 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 is do you think. Because you talked to him I mean, personally, something viable that he you know felt that yeah this is something that's going to fill a hole in the market. Well, Jay 
they're in business, right? They're in, they've been sure. at Shot Show. They're I've, here to I've make seen money, them, and, yeah. and they've actually got they they keep moving up uh, in terms of booth space. You know, like from the basement up to now. You know, now they're <laughs> they finally in, got air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They moved out of the, <laughs> what, what I call the dungeon. You yeah. know, and and again talking about Hudson last year. I don't want to go too far afield of your question, but Hudson, yeah. I remember was in the basement last year, sure. and there were four rows of people. I didn't even get to touch the damn thing. Wow. You know, yeah. like, uh, another guy covered it at Range Day, mm-hmm. so. And we'll, yeah, but that's it. We're going to touch back on that too because yeah. they've come out with something else. Sure, but we're sure. talking about the Franklin Armory Reformation, uh, Reformation the uh, SBR short barrel rifle, which is not a short barrel rifle uh, that no tax stamp required. Right, and it, it, you, there's controversy. Controversy. So, right, there's controversy. I don't think they did it just to generate controversy. Again, they're in the business of making money, and they're here every single year. So people are going to buy. Like I said, you have the lovers, you've got the haters. Yeah. This has been a controversial product, but pe- I think people are going to buy it. You know, okay. it's expensive though. I'll, I'll tell you this: people are going to oh, freak out. Oh, really? Say, Two grand. Wow. For, for that, but that's with all the bells and whistles. It's got the binary trigger. It's got a really oh, so nice they are going to put the binary float on there. Handguard. I mean, it, it, it's a nice. AR-15 by any measure, other than of course the controversial, the lack of rifling, and that's yeah. that's two grand MSRP. That's right. So yeah, it's, yeah. So you're not you're not paying anywhere near that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's cool. But you're bypassing, and is it official? Is it? Did he get a letter of approval, or is that still under review? It's so it depends on who you February? ask. February wasn't it? I heard yeah. February. Yeah, and they said the director, you know, the ATF or somebody. To, uh, uh, some analog, somebody really high up already cleared them in writing and said it's good to go. I think as far as I can't comment on whether or not they've got official approval, but uh, they, okay. they've straight up said that, that in writing, the yeah. ATF said you're I good heard, to go. I actually heard a date February 2nd was supposed to be. There's supposed to have an answer. On that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I could be wrong, but that's just something I heard. It's SHOT Show. Well, you hear yeah, a lot yeah, of stuff, yeah so. I love SHOT Show. So, you, <laughs> so, so what I was asking James is he's had an opportunity to go around <laughs> is that Garcia? <laughs> no, that's not a Max. Uh, Somebody's else. angry. Uh, Give that dog a steak. All right. And see, and he'll talk with people in person, see the products in person, and the standout for this year, 2018. Uh, I was asking in his opinion, and he's saying, uh, you know, hands down because of all the, you know, the controversy. pre, yeah, you know, the pre build up, and then actually hearing the controversy surrounding yeah. it was the yeah. Reformation. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And. Sig's got some cool products, of course. Heard a lot about the new Sig. Yeah, a lot the, of people have been talking about the that 365. too. Yeah, and you guys know I'm, I'm a concealed weapons instructor, and, mm-hmm. and that's kind of my thing. And I, I was talking with Rich at Sig, and I said, "Man, I was going to come over here and bust you because, <laughs> well, because it, ten rounds of nine millimeter is ten rounds of nine millimeter. You can't make it smaller because then it's 380, right? Mm-hmm. So how are you going to stuff ten rounds of nine millimeter into something that's substantially the same size as most single stack nine millimeter subcompacts? We did that 15 years ago so with I the Kel- yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, been yeah. Done. yeah, and right, exactly, and and. The, Almost the same dimensions, right? You're talking about one inch thick, yeah, just like the P11, just under, yeah, yeah, yeah. ten plus one, yeah. just like the P11. I know you guys are even making twelve plus one flush fits for yeah. you, all right? Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm abreast. <laughs> I, I'd say that's what, man, that's what well, gets me going is these these. Yeah, what I was saying guns. is that I, I love. I got friends at Sig, good friends at Sig. Just had some uh, bourbon with them last night. Uh, love their products. Uh, and we're we actually get uh, we're flattered by it. when people come up with stuff like this. We're kind of flattered because we know <laughs> we know that behind closed doors, a lot of the stuff comes from things that we started. Yeah, because nobody was doing that yet, and yeah. we did it. And now people, you know, fast forward 15 years, and people are doing it again. You know, re- reinventing it, and we I, di- we dig it. I can't, I can't believe what a, a a stable, reputable company you guys have have built doing changing the game you know you're not just yeah. pushing out like another m4 copy right you're right. not just yeah. pushing out like there are no copies pistol. at, at right Celtic. you guys this are innovators original yeah. i'm gonna uh stop kissing chad's butt <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that, we go way back we're bros yeah it has uh, nothing but, to do with me i just i just pull triggers man yeah so. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, he's he's selling himself short he, he's one of the one of my favorite interviewees at, so at the sig Shot what's Show. your what's your take on that sig uh, i said rich i'm gonna come over here and bust you like there's no way yeah. that this is gonna work and lo and behold i mean you know like chad said it's it as so you're Caltech pleasantly surprised him. yes okay Yes, and it's the a trigger's sweet excellent. Pistol, man. Yep. Yeah, trigger's excellent. I've not had a chance to see it yet, so I'm you should. Yeah, hook, I got. Yeah, I got. I got to run over there for for it. Shuts down. Well, if you can, today's the day because I mean, you, it, it's hard day. to get your hands yeah, on yeah, it yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, yeah. And, and it's got the serialized trigger pack like the 320. Mm-hmm. So frames are 40 bucks. 
Nice. So you guys, when you, like we were joking around, you know, if you want to get your your uh, what's it soldering iron and put, <laughs> try to get, take your, your 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 best effort at a Punisher skull, you can just throw it away. <laughs> if you oh, screw right. <laughs> Very nice. nice. So anything else that really sticks? I mean, well, we we talked about the Hudson H nine A. Hudson yeah, was really right. bell of the ball. Yeah, so, bell of the ball last year. So they they came back with a lighter model this year. I removed about eight ounces. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's yeah. a half a gun. Yeah, well, a quarter of a gun. Yeah. Steel versus aluminum. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. at range day, I actually got an opportunity to go in and, and talk to Cy a little bit on that, and and I didn't get to shoot them, but uh, you know, I was comparing the the weight and what, and significantly different, and but they're still maintained. You know the accuracy and performance in mm-hmm. those that, that they were getting out of the heavier one too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I shot it. I, I really could not tell the difference. I, I felt like uh, you know, and I hate to say this because Cy Hudson, nicest dude, nicest dude, but super nice. I I really it really didn't slay me. You know, last year because of the the all steel construction. I, I'm, I'm not a 1911 guy. It, it didn't impress me. This is what it should have been, and I'm actually really thrilled about it. We're a polymer generation, aren't we? We are. Well, for <laughs> those, me for and those, you both, Marty. Yeah. I know that. For those guys that are 1911 guys, though, now he's offering. He's got. He's got the. He's got them both. Yeah. You know, he's got you, and he's got the 1911 yeah, exactly. guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Smart. So it was smart move. Very yeah. astute move. Yeah. Really um, good. Yeah, and then and then the IWITS 12. I don't want to keep rambling on. No, I'm rambling. Show, but yeah. yeah, no, the. Uh, no, I mean, that's, the, that's what we're here for, man. And Fill uh, me in. I, r- I love this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're the man. That's why I, I love, love coming this. on here. You just let let me go. He's gonna. He's actually not even. <laughs> I saw the button. Just he's like stop recording. Button, just <laughs> yeah. just push nope, that. Still no, going. I was making sure yeah, it was yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> still going. Um, Chad, I'll tell you, I forgot to push that a couple of times. Plug TFB a little bit. We're the official SHOT Show Industry Day coverage. We always have a couple of tents out there, so we get to go out there on Sunday before Industry Day cool. and yeah, make appointments and see the really cool stuff. So Rebecca at IWI, she's a saint, like one of the nicest ladies. Uh, Rebecca said, hey, you got something we want you to see. And, you know, of course, there had been the leak sure. uh, of the TS-12 which is the IWI 12 gauge bullpup shotgun. That's a 15 plus one with two and three quarter inch shells using a rotary tube system, three five round tubes, and you rotate them as they, as each one goes dry. Okay. So it's a pretty cool thing. And then we were out there Sunday and, you know, they said, look, we haven't even shot it yet. <laughs> so yeah, they're like, you know, be gentle, um, you know, and it's, I've got a good working Hold relationship. Hold your breath. And well, you, you know, you didn't have like a good, uh, a trusting relationship. You know, they, there's no way they'd let some idiot from YouTube go and, and shoot a gun for the first time. So it was, you know, self plug, but it was awesome, man. I got, I was one of the first people to shoot it. I thought it was great. Great traffic on the video. People are talking about it too. Nice. Very good. Very cool. So uh, I guess I didn't hear that they came out with a 12 gauge. Nice. How did you? What? <laughs> you're, you're like the man with the pulse on the industry. What's yeah. going on with you? I bring people who have the pulse on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. So that I mean that's a pretty good lineup, right? I mean that's some yeah. things there you told me about that I wasn't aware of. So yeah. 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 I mean it was a good show. It's been a solid show. I mean they're again not the the straight up show stoppers that yeah. you had last year, but. A good show. There's been some good stuff. So uh, that that leads me into Matt with DAC Technologies and and the product. I think this is probably one of uh, the most innovative ones that I've seen. Uh, yeah, had the opportunity yeah. to see at the show. As far uh, as accessories go, I'd as far as accessories, this yeah. isn't a firearm, so this is something that's going to make you better with your firearm. And uh, training makes you better with your firearm. Training. Let's get that clear. But this yeah. is training. And they offer tools that and make your training And this is a training more tool. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. dry fire is essential. Yes. With essential. that, yes. we're going to let Matt tell us about his products. Well, first off, thanks for having me here today. Oh, well, thanks and, for uh, coming, man. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, so get the, close to the mic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what I've got here, it's called Target Eyes, and Target Eyes. Oh, Target Eyes is a nine-axis motion sensor, and it's got an accelerometer. As you're shooting, it's giving you real-time feedback on your muzzle movement, and it's communicating this to an app on your phone and via Bluetooth. And so as you're shooting, you're getting real-time feedback. It's popping up on your screen. You're seeing exactly what it is you're doing, and it's telling you exactly how to fix it. And so in a roundabout way, it's like having an instructor on your phone. Um, <laughs> I still recommend using it with an instructor because, right. you know, with the if you're if you're a beginner, I mean, if you you know if you know what you're doing, then then you can use this. You know, but great. this is an but app. Like you said, it's on your phone. It's on your, yeah. your tablet. And your it's interchangeable yeah. with the uh, Apple and um, Microsoft. Yeah, it works it works on Apple or Android. And so uh, we're going to turn this yeah. around to the home right. crowd here, so let you guys can see this. And let's let Chad um, 
get a little hands on. Yeah, and Chad, this, Chad so. didn't get to see it earlier. Yeah, and Chad, uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Anyway, it works in live. Do you fire. want to walk around this way? You'll stay. Yeah. Can you, do well, you need to see the screen? No, I don't necessarily oh, okay. need to see the screen. Cool. I, you know, I'll need to set things up so so okay. it works. Uh, we just want to hit the practice button. Okay. And Go ahead. Um, yeah, got you yeah. over here. When you hit we'll the let James do that. When you yep. hit the practice button there, yeah, uh, what you're seeing in the center that's your sights. Uh, this thing, your your okay. target is unimportant to this device. Um, it, you could shoot it whatever you want to. All it cares about is what you're doing with your muzzle movement, what you're doing with your hands, what you're doing with the gun. So we've got the red the red box there, your sights, mm -hmm. because we're going to base everything off of you being center sight, because of course you are looking down your <laughs> sights. And go. so as you're shooting, it's going to everything is going to start center sight and go from there. Okay. And so give it a, give it a shot, Chad. All right. Any particular distance? Or? Uh, you know, I mean, it, it just wherever you want to aim, man. And uh, yeah, you can aim at the screen. Look at that. Oh, he and was so, right on. Look at that. And so I'm super close to the screen now. <laughs> well, well, you don't have to shoot at the screen. You can shoot at whatever you want aim to. Aim over there. Uh, the, yeah, just aim wherever you'd like. Again, 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 the target's unimportant. So. so as he's shooting, you can see he's shooting. He's pulling the trigger. Do it like three times. One. Oh, that'll show the movement. Yeah, and, and, so, that. and so the, the shots movement. start popping immediately. You can fire up to four shots a second. Uh, and again, it's giving you all this information, and I can't see the screen right now. Is there a That's correction cool. at the bottom? Does it say yeah, something? Breaking yeah. risk all right, down. All right, touch that. Somebody touch that for me there. Vanna White's got you. All right, and so now what you're going to get is now you're going to get an illustrated correction. It's going to show you don't do this, do this, and then a written explanation. And, and to go along with that, I believe there's another number up here. It should yeah. probably have a... And yeah. so there's other corrections, yeah. well. and then maybe you were, uh, is there a third one? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I played with this thing a little bit. Leaning so. forward too yeah. much. And uh, the person in the leaning forward too much, he's actually the creator of this product. He was a weapons instructor with the Israeli IDF for over 25 years. And when he retired, he started working on this project. And just kind of dumb luck, it fell into my lap. And how, does this, how does this voodoo work? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's magic. It, the, the motion sensor in there, it's tracking your muzzle movement right now. Okay. And so when it's on, it's tracking. And it's collecting 1,000 data points a second. And so, yeah. And so when you pull the trigger, it's, it's going to give you a backward snapshot. And so it's going to take you back to the point in time you were stable and then show you everything that happened after that. It's an awesome product. It also has a few training games. It keeps your history, so you can track your progress over time. I was just about to ask you if there's like some uh, like competitive options on here, like yeah. games you can play. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah, so a, there's a couple that. of so games. I hit done here. Yep, you can hit done there. Okay. Uh, there's a game called Two and One. Let's see how bad Marty is. The object of <laughs> the object of Two and One is to right. help you improve your groupings, and okay. so you you start off with a green circle, and you're trying to get all your shots within uh, within the green circle and as you unlock all the different levels uh, the circle gets smaller and smaller. So how do we start that on here? Um, let's see, it should just say two and one. Um, here, let uh, me flip it yeah. around for you, Matt. All right. Oh yeah, we'll back out. Yeah, and so they ended the session and when you end a session you can go through and look uh, at each and individual one. shot uh, in the order that you took them, which is nice. And so all right, we're going to click on this. And this, uh, yeah, here we go. We're ready now, to go. Now, do I need to aim at the screen on this No, one? you can aim. Well, I mean. Because I'm going to. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So I mean, I and, and this really one. this is meant to be used with a paper target. But uh, okay. but you can use it in dry fire and uh, elsewhere. Yep. And this is going to present the information in a slightly different way and help you see your muzzle track just a little bit better than you can under the regular practice. Yeah. Is so. this a timed one? Where no, this is not timed. The next one, we'll get to the timed one. That's next. So okay. this, this has no countdown. You're just trying to get all your shots as close together as you possibly can. So how many am I shooting? Uh, I believe you get 10 rounds on this. 10 rounds. Yep. Okay. I can't see. I assume you're doing well. Oh no. yeah, it's just yeah, one ragged hole. I'm all hole. over the place. <laughs> no, it looks pretty good. <laughs> no, it's not. As, it's not as on this one. It's a. It's a little more sensitive, and it's showing you the information in a different okay. way. Now, when you end the session, you can go back and look at it just like you you would under normal practice, and it'll show you how your muzzle tracked and give you the sights and all that stuff. So. Yeah. So keep in mind, we're pulling a, a pretty long pull, double action uh, yeah. trigger. So yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, we've so been drinking all week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's also softballing it just so he can show everybody that it, you know. Yeah, yeah. If Marty was on, it would just be one boring hole right, right in the middle. <laughs> all right. So now what do you do next? Well, 
did, uh, yeah. So, so I said I unlocked level two. Uh, so yeah, now I go yeah on you can and move on to level two, and it gets yeah, and you have to get them tighter and tighter, and as you unlock the levels, and uh, I mean it's a it's a good challenge. My favorite one though is the quick shot. It is the other game we've got on here, and it's to help you improve your uh, improve your. We'll uh, let James do it. Let's see. Should say uh, done we're down here somewhere. Yep. Went to the Glock party last night. Yes, and, sir. Yep. Stayed up till about five in the morning, so I got the shakes. No Atta promises. <laughs> All right, James. What's going on here is mm -hmm. the way this is going to work. You're going to fire one shot every time it tells you to go, mm -hmm. and the first go round, it's going to count down from ten, and then it's going to tell you to go. Okay. And you're going to come up, acquire your. You'll have three seconds to come up, acquire your target, and fire. Okay. Uh, after that time, though, the shot time varies, and so it could be three seconds, it could be seven seconds. You don't know when to anticipate it, and so you just have to be ready Matt, to go. I, I hate you for giving me the hard one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the fun one. one. It's the fun it's one. It's counting down, and then yep. I, they see this? And it's gonna say go. Oh yeah, no, you're good. The live crew. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You go. You're good. Okay. So uh, All right, go. Uh, as he's Far doing side. this, another thing to point out is that you're using your oh, actual fire. What arm. did I do? Uh, I shot at the trash can. Yeah, it mostly, yeah, you didn't want to shoot at that guy. Yeah, so that, yeah, yeah, I don't want. There's yeah, a lot yeah, of people, yeah, and it's yeah, just freaking yeah, me out. Yeah, like, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. But uh, having the gun pointed down here. is probably oh, where the failure came in. Over here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. And so we've. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, I just hit the mic too. Oh, and we ran over time. Oh, okay. Because you can see there, it's giving you your split time too. So. I feel like my dad, like technology. Well, I'm, it's just, hard. I'm getting up there, just turned 35. Oh, there you go. There, yeah, success. 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 Finally, it only took me five shots. <laughs> well, it's hard to hear it say go with the... Yeah, there you go. All right. Yep. There we go. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. And This is really cool, yeah. And on this one... Uh, as you unlock the different levels, it will the time starts dropping. And so on the it first round, oh yeah, on the first round, on the first round react. you got three seconds. The next round it's two point seven five. The next round it's two and a half. And so by the time you get to level ten, I mean you got to be right. I mean, you got to be Johnny on the spot. Yeah. So yeah. That's so what, was, cool. what I was pointing out is that so the great thing about this uh, training tool is that you use your actual firearm on this. So it's not a, a training gun. It's your actual firearm. So. As you're training with this, and you go out and you in the real world, yep. you do your real shooting. Yep. Now you, you, it's, it's yep. the same. You do, you do have to have a Picatinny rail. That is the one thing. Well, there and you so, go. You know, it's got to be a gun with a Picatinny rail. What about duct tape? Rail. Yeah, I can tell you that. I tell you that <laughs> on the, dry fire, it probably works. I can work, tape but it on I don't there, know about the live I can fire. tape that on a revolver now. <laughs> Come on. The downside of this program is that I'm not going to get any work done. Yeah, because <laughs> it's going to be set up in my office, and I'm just going to be shooting in my wall. That's like I was saying earlier. It's like the cert pistol, man. When the cert pistol came out. I mean, I was just everywhere yeah. I went. I mean, I was at the pool. I was in the office doing work. I was doing interviews. I mean, I'm, well, that's you could hear me clicking that cert pistol yeah. everywhere. Yeah. When, yeah. When, you, when you work at a law firm like me, it's kind of weird when they come down to my <laughs> office. I got a big red Glock, and that's, I'm shooting it at the wall. Well, the old. super cool thing is uh, the games and the and – the, uh, it's – it's kind of like the simulated stress stuff, you know, yeah. like it's cool. You're, you're yeah. trying to fight the game, yeah. um, but at the same time, like you mentioned, you're using your own pistol. Yeah. So you use yeah. your own holster yeah. and you, yeah. and you're doing so this you're like all you're training your own to fight. Gear. And that, that piece you put on there weighs nothing. So yeah. it's, not yeah, it's gonna, less than an ounce. It's like a, it's like a light. Yeah, it's got not a light on there. Yeah. It's not, it's not even there as far yeah. as you're yeah. concerned. This is you awesome. Can, so. Awesome for yeah. sharpening side alignment, side picture, trigger control, Very all cool. that stuff. If you hate dry firing, this is. makes it fun. There. Yes. yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It, it, it becomes addictive. Makes you want to I mean, train. That's and, what I'm saying. And, and, well, <laughs> no, this no. In my office, I'm too. Well, no, that's I know it's great for boring conference calls, man. That's, I, that's all I do. I just sit What's there. that clicking? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, anyway. George. Could you repeat that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the cool thing is, this is also because it's app based. It works for Apple or Android products. The app is free. Uh, but because it's app based, what you buy today or what you buy six months from now, it's only going to get cooler. Uh, yeah, we add, yeah, yeah. we do updates all the time, and so we add features. We're you know we've got a lot of stuff in the works. I'm not really privy to talk about, but is some, uh, of, is some of the uh, some of the stuff like um, customer feedback. Do you have like a? Oh no, we yeah we uh, I'm all ears all the time. I mean anybody yeah. feedback because you can literally do any number of things with this. I mean it just yeah it's, just, on, it's just limitless yeah, really yeah. yeah. And so you know we have the things we want to do, and then we have the list of things that people have come up and said you know hey I'd like to see it do this. Yeah. And you know it's just a matter of trying to prioritize it and, sure. and get the coding and all the. And all you were the, telling uh, me that you could use this on your rifle. Yeah, you can use it on your rifle right now. It will it will show you how your muzzle's tracking. Yeah. Um, but right now, I think you're shooting a pistol. Calibrated and for a pistol. Yeah, and so it's going to give you the corrective feedback for a pistol. But 
we are the Israeli military is working with the rifle side of things and you know once once they because uh, you have to train the sensor you have to train it what to pay attention to and you also have to train it uh, what to disregard yeah. and so because there's so many different things going sure. on you know it, it could show up as an errant shot that didn't happen or this or that so well uh, you know it's, it's obviously you want to start with the pistol because yeah. <clears throat> the pistol 100 percent of the time is going to be what you defend your, li- your life yeah. with you, yeah. Yeah. you don't carry a long gun yeah. around with you That's so right. yeah and, That's cool. you know, and so yeah so the rifle though we will get an update somewhere hopefully uh mid mid to late year and website I'll, website targeteyes.com and uh yeah social meets and social that's media, not that's yeah. not target like your eyeball eyes. no it's, no yeah it's target yeah, i-z-e yeah, yeah it's, t- it's just target and then i-z-e all so one word all one word dot com and uh, dot com price and point Price point it retails anywhere from 129 to 149 dollars. That's nothing. And these are available great, now. Man. They're available yeah. now. I mean, you can find them in a ton of your local gun stores. I'm literally going to go buy one as soon as we stop this live feed. <laughs> <laughs> is there a is there a, a shot show uh, yeah. special? Yeah, we are. Yeah, well, yeah, we're we're running shot show specials, and I'll okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take okay. care of all you guys. Don't yeah, worry so about I, it. I've already put this one in my pocket. I recommend. <laughs> there's there's a couple things here. So. Uh, we have the P11. It doesn't have a rail on it, but yep. P226, uh, any any double action yeah. uh, pistol, great idea for uh, dry fire practice. And, I, and that's what I use anyway when I'm sitting at my desk. I don't use necessarily my carry gun, yeah. pull it, racket, sure. pull it. Yep. I do that, but do a lot of live fire with that. But for dry fire practice, I'm not really worried about like uh, how my gun feels or anything like that, how my trigger feels. I'm just getting those reps in. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, it, so. it, it will totally help you with the muscle memory. Right, I mean, that's, exactly, that's yeah. And, and and because of it's keeping your history, you know what? it will keep you honest about how much work you're putting you into it. You can use this right. with yeah. the, uh, um, ah, what are those guys, the, wait a minute, um, <laughs> UTM, the UTM guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've the got they've stuff? got a cycling uh, round oh, right. that's yeah, non-projectile, yeah. Right. so you could use it with your. There you block. go. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, you can do that, and it works with snap caps and all that good stuff. So yeah. I mean, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to do there. Perfect. But, uh, I want it. Side picture, side alignment, focus on the front sight, slow squeeze, trigger front reset. Side, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah work on all of it. That's cool. I love very it. Good. Very cool. Dude, this is so cool, man. That's why I love SHOT Show. Me too, man. I mean, just people coming up. Well, that's why I love Friday at SHOT yeah. Show, because I don't get to see anything until Friday. Yeah, it slows yeah, yeah, down a little bit. I mean, yeah. unless it's between me and so the bathroom. So it's official now. This is my, this is my favorite product for the 2018 <laughs> uh, SHOT yep. Show right here. Me too. Hands uh, down. I mean, not only I mean, is it useful and you know, you're know you going to benefit from the training from it, but it's fun. It's fun, yeah. yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't feel like training. It doesn't feel like work. Yeah. So. yeah, and you're going to get the results from this when you go out and you go to the yes. range and yeah. do live, you know, live fire training. I got a, a, I got a million yeah. dollar idea for you. Sure, if you can find somebody to make a double action AR trigger, okay, drop in AR trigger. Uh, I mean, you go. T- dude, yeah. you, train it, yeah. you could train with your rifle all day long yeah. without having to do anything to it. Yeah, just drop in a trigger, and or. Make a dedicated lower. Yeah. yeah. Throw your upper on there and have a double action. So you just literally just keep pulling the trigger as a training yeah. tool. I, yeah. Nobody's ever done that. Yeah. I mean, I, and, I and this just yeah. this just made me think of that. You know, it's not a bad idea. Well, so, somebody's going to run with it. Somebody's going to run yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah, do a yeah. targetized trigger. You sell as a package. <laughs> so you've got a you've got a weak head start uh, to go ahead and to, before this gets released and everybody. Yeah. Of course, yeah. the live crew's probably already on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Some guys in his mom's basement drawing it yeah, up right yeah. now. He's like. Done. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. cool. Stuff, Matt. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. James, Matt, Appreciate thank you guys, guys. so yep. much it's for being privilege. on, taking the time. It was um, good. Thanks for thinking about us, little people, Marty. And these guys <laughs> are in Little Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're out of Little Rock, yeah, Little Arkansas. Rock. Yeah, Arkansas. Arkansas. Hey, but that's illegal to pronounce it that way. Say I don't Arkansas. know. I don't know if you're aware. I've that. mispronounced a lot of things there's, today. There's so. no. There's an actual <laughs> law in the books that says you cannot call it Arkansas. Thank God. So. I mispronounced South Dakota, San Diego. The one thing is not mispronounced is the whiskey you drank last night. <laughs> yeah, McAllen was the Scotchy Scotch Scotch. Love uh, that. Yeah. All right. Uh, more, thank you guys. Yep. More coming from the 2018 yep. Shot Show, the official lead quarters of Talking Lead Caltech. Woo. Chad, I'm gonna chew gum on this one. Chad, we're we're at the 2018 Shot Show. Everybody's full of energy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In our minds. In our minds. Actually, yeah. I'm all hopped up on pre-workout right now. So I was had plenty of energy last night. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What about tonight? Not so much. <laughs> we're going to have to fix that because we're going out tonight. I had scotchy scotch down in my belly last you night. You did, man. Yeah. It was so hard for me to walk away from that, too. Cooler heads prevailed. Good times. 
I've got my energy. I'm ready to rock and roll because I'm excited to introduce to you Leadheads, uh, a longtime listener and supporter of the show. We've got Mr. Nick Dooley in the house. How are we doing today? Insert applause. <laughs> the audience loves it. And uh, I, I may lose my job because Nick has the best radio voice ever. Right? You know, it's, it's a face for radio and a voice for sign language. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Very good. So, Nick, how long have you been listening to Talking Lead? Uh, since episode one. Since, wow. the, since day that, one. That, it was rough. It was rough. But it's wow. gotten a lot it, better over the it, years. It, it has been rocky at times, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. You, like, you, I remember the rape whistle knife. <laughs> oh my gosh! I haven't thought about that in years. <laughs> wow! So that was the. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. What was the name of that? Tool company? Logic. Tool Logic. It was the Tool Logic. <laughs> Multifunction. He's it the show w- historian. If you need to know anything about your own show, <laughs> just hit him up. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start adding you to my my regular guest list. So, Chuck, you're in trouble as being number one, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm coming for you. No, seriously, man. Thank thank you so much. I really appreciate. It. I mean, we wouldn't be able. This is our fifth year, man. Yep. We're celebrating five years of talking lead all this year. It's been really good too. Well, I've thank enjoyed you. it immensely and learned a lot. Because this is the place where you come for exclusives and new products. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. I actually turned you down too much there. I turned you back up. Uh, but you you brought a guest with you. You brought a buddy. I, I sure did. This is uh, one of my best friends in the world. We uh, spent a little time in Iraq together. Oh, uh, yeah? Quite a bit of time in the guard together over the years. And uh, it's Cal Christie with River City Arsenal. He's got a River City. completely new product, or not product per se, but service. You throw you throw the word arsenal in your title, and I'm listening. <laughs> I like it. So it, what it is, uh, uh, Emory Retirement. Welcome in, Calvin. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, yeah. Chad, I wanted to have him on here specifically for you. Because oh, yeah? Uh, I think I think you're going to dig this, and light bulbs are going to start going off. So. I already got a good feeling about it. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> so coming up on a military retirement, uh, we looked uh through the industry about a year ago, and started looking around. You know, what are we doing? What's what's going on? What's what's new? Um, we know weapons. I know guns. I've been around them. You know, for the 25 years I've been in. We thought, you know, as many people as getting into shooting sports, you know, a turnaround time on gunsmith and gun cleaning. You know, start calling around at different sonic cleaning places, seeing what they got. Uh, we ended up putting a large sonic cleaner from the gun from gun cleaners. Uh, bought into them. Uh, mounted in a 30-foot trailer. We got multiple gunsmith workstations in the trailer. Uh, we follow the events around. We go to the trap shooting events. Uh, we can knock out 200 shotguns in about... So you are a mobile gun cleaning, one-stop shop... You bet. ...solution. That is awesome. So if, uh, The gun doctor. I like so, it. Well, <laughs> the gun doctor. Our I plan like is it. if there's a group of people shooting uh, firearms, we're going to be right there to help out. Uh, clean, service, whatever you need. Got ammunition. We got uh, we retail. So... Man, Seriously. you would clean up at three gun major three gun matches. Right, we go to. Oh, we, man. We've been starting to follow some of the trap shooting events. Uh, like yeah. I said, we, you know, we, we can crack out fifty shotguns in about three hours. Wow. What about uh, handguns, rifles? Same you know, thing. Carbines. Doing yeah. it all. Do it all. Yep. I, yeah. ARs and stuff take us a little longer, but uh, we're still within that hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, so you know, time. yeah. Cause so if you're a competitive shooter and you're a major match. And you get back to the hotel, and you just want to go get dinner. You don't want to sit there and clean your guns for the next freaking two hours for the next day. Right. I'm telling you, you clean up. Drop them off with Calvin. You and could just you're ready to rock really and just leave them with Calvin to go back to the hotel, and then come back the next morning get them from him. We actually got him with the <laughs> um, Cowboy Action Shooters Association. They're mounted shooting teams. Right. Uh, you know they are nice. uh, totally black powder uh, revolvers. Yeah, they dirty, need it. Uh, 1873 yeah. lever actions and uh, 410 shotguns that shoot 45 long colt. Yeah, well, if you can uh, keep those guys happy, you can keep anybody right. happy. Uh, they're some rev- dirty weapons. They're revolvers. Yeah. Uh, I take out four screws, take the handguards off, drop them in the machine. They'll have their guns back in five minutes. Wow. wow that's that's I can, crazy. I can personally attest to this stuff. You know, he, he bought it. You know, he was a friend of mine, so I started using the product. We've got another friend of ours that went to Iraq with us back in the day. When he got home, his present to himself was he went out and bought himself a Beretta Auto shotgun. And Happy to, birthday. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Took it, he took it apart once and went... This is way too confusing for me. He is a former Marine, so we figured he'd <laughs> right. better stick away from that. So he went away. Get him a box of crayons, take the gun away from him. Hadn't cleaned it in 13 years. <laughs> oh he is a God. major, oh major God. waterfowl shooter, you know, huge wing shooter all the time, always doing some with a shotgun. 
brought it in. We dropped it off in Kel's tank. One hour later, it's brand new. Wow. 13 years yeah. of carbon and crap nice. and stuff in it. We, we pulled it apart. Wow. Went, oh, shit, that's supposed to be stainless? <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah, that's, that's been mostly the problem, you know, being around a bunch of soldiers, you know, they want to support the business, so they're going to try to challenge me to the most right, dirty yeah, thing. Right, yeah, as dirty as possible. Yeah, I think yeah. I got, I had a shotgun come in that was out of the back of a Suburban that was covered with dog blankets, and, uh, yeah, he... So do you <laughs> make house calls? We do. Um, this, this is great. We got a few I phone know. calls. Uh, we <laughs> were set up awesome. at uh, the South Dakota Governor's Summit with great connections out there. Um, you know, these people who inherit uh, a whole safe full of grandpa's firearms, you know, that they not particularly want to shoot them. They just want to make sure they're preserved. Sure. You know, and I love doing that. You know, we, we make a house call. We stop. We'll knock out all 25-year guns in the safe. Be on our way. It's not my house. Man, that's cool. You're going to be there a little bit longer, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, kind of how we started looking at it. You know, with the, it's great right now with the with the you know the people in office. You know, it is a softer gun sale market. Mm-hmm. But there's so many more people in the industry, uh, in the sporting part of it. Well, so many guns have been purchased over the last eight years just out of fear that we're not going to be able to keep them. Yeah. So there's a ton, ton of guns. There's a lot of business for you out there. But you know, you know, back in the day when it was just old guys shooting trap at a trap league, those are gone. Now you see a. Mm-hmm. You know, the 24-year-old millennial type, you know, they want to grab a shotgun. They want to play with it, too. Yeah. Uh, and they're not as keen on uh, wanting to tear it apart at the kitchen table and clean it. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, I would have never thought that, or my grandpa, who owned a shop, said, you know, he can't believe people don't change their own oil anymore. Yeah. You know, this is the same thing. Yeah. You know, this is just a daily I service. I change my own oil still. Yeah. I don't. I don't I trust anybody. I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I trust no one. But that's kind of the move we were hoping for is that, you know, it becomes a service people just expect, you know, yeah. that we're going to be at the range and they're going to expect the River City Arsenal crews to be there. They're going to expect to get their shotgun clean and repackaged before they even leave the range. Uh, and then they go home and next time we'll be there again. And now, where do people get in touch with you real quick yeah. while, while they're listening to this? What's your website? Uh, I don't have a website. We're still building a website up. I'm on Facebook, River City Arsenal, uh, Instagram, River City Arsenal. Phone number? Uh, 605-690-0699. Uh, we are looking at traveling this summer. We're gonna. I mean, we've grown pretty big, pretty fast. Like I said, we're gonna. We're probably gonna follow the cowboy action shooting teams around uh, Oklahoma and the Midwest uh, to the bigger ones. Yeah. Um, nice. We're gonna look at maybe getting another trailer. You know, where we want to do that way. And, and like I and said, and that's really that's a that's a genius a great, idea. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's really like is. the ice cream truck. Man. Yeah. If you like to travel, <laughs> especially, you know. You know, and the best part about it, you know, like I said, being military, I have a you know infinite supply of guys who know a lot about guns. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially when we start talking ARs, pistols. You know, uh, these guys have been on my own for their entire careers. Right. And they're looking for something to do afterwards. Hey, come work for me. You know, yeah. it's, it's straightforward dis- disassembly. You know, we don't do anything too crazy. You know, it's usually a field, little, little bit beyond field stripping. Yeah. Throw it in the machine. You know, we go through that that process. Um, but you've, you, I mean, obviously you got to have some gunsmithing knowledge to be right. able to break these things down and know. Right, I was an armor in the military. How to break them down? The, you know, is there anything you don't clean or won't? won't touch you know a lot of the the really old vintage rifle shotguns that you know that they're not pins they're they're screws they're specific they're they're a little more difficult Mm -hmm. Uh, i will i've done a few if they plan on shooting them my recommendation is these older guns are not meant to be shot you know let's let's just do a good surface collectibles let's preserve it and move on Uh, other than that that's a good point uh, we can uh we can clean anything they got nice do you do anything other than firearms uh, you know, not not too much. Uh, we can't drop my diamond ring in there. And uh, no, no, we we actually can. Uh, my wife tried it with her diamond ring, and yeah, <laughs> nice. did it work? I, I, I mean, it's a sonic cleaner. I so dropped it another in. another seven grand later. Yeah, uh, yeah. I dropped it in there and sweated <laughs> right, the whole time and watched it. You know, but uh, no, it comes out just like you know, it's just a sonic cleaner. I mean, like, you're right, it is just sonic cleaner. For our, for our cool. listeners who aren't familiar with that, explain how that process works. Uh, sonic cleaning. So um, most people worry about the sonic cleaning process because it's a water based solution. Uh, it is using uh, about 46 to 48 hertz, uh, so it's high, really, really high frequency. Uh, what it's doing is actually uh, the solution creates microscopic bubbles in between anything that's not actually physically, chemically attached to the metal. And it, as, as, a, as, it's, as it waves back and forth, it ex- slightly explodes, you know, for yeah, micro words, and it just releases all that stuff. We have one at the shop at Caltech. I think we've got a couple of them, actually. It's incredible. You drop it in, and you pull it out, and it's brand new. Those things aren't it's crazy, cheap, though, right? No, you know it's it's no, no, say no. <laughs> so no, they need to they, use your service. No, they are not. Cheap. They they are not cheap. <laughs> you know, and it took a little bit of a learning process. You know, and the you know, we talked to you know different different oils, different fluids. We are we actually our sonic cleaners have the sonic cleaner, 
and there's actually a sonic oiler afterwards that re-oils it. Oh, uh, cool. We call it like seasoning a frying pan. You know, you got to put those <laughs> oils back into the metal. Sure, yeah. Uh, then we have a, a few proprietary uh, oils we use. I didn't even know you could do that part. Yeah. Yeah, Very so it'll, cool. it'll actually bond some of the oils down back into those, you know, you always hear about oil companies and stuff like that talking about getting into the pores of the material so it has that oil in there to be used. Yeah. Well, this impregnates that metal more with the oil to make them run more efficient after it's done. Yeah. And that's why it's oh, way for, awesome. you know, preserving, preserving firearms, too. Chad, know? have you ever heard of a service like this before? No, never. So, uh, wow. I mean, I was thinking all the three-gun competitions. and I actually thought about doing this. My background's music. And uh, I used to live in Los Angeles, and um, I want. I, that's why I, I said uh, gun doctors because I actually wanted to call my company the Drum Doctor, and drum uh, doctor. I wanted to have uh, yeah, just a, a vehicle that that's full of just all spare drum parts uh, because out in LA, I mean, music is just everywhere. There's and all the venues have house drum kits, so I wanted to be able to drive around and repair the drum kits, replace the heads, clean them up, all that stuff, move on to the next place. You know, uh, churches. Uh, House of Blues, yeah, you know like all a the good music bands, so. the Drum Doctors. So I actually thought of the idea like 20 years ago, but you know, I mean, this is now I'm into guns, so this is I think this is genius, kind of, and that's yeah, why it's because I we so, think alike. Yeah, yeah. Kind of the same thing. You know, we we looked at it, said you know, if I was to take my firearm right now to a your your standard gunsmith, they'd probably kind of laugh you out the door to say, I'll, I'll clean it, but it's gonna cost you 150 bucks. Mm-hmm. You can have it back in two weeks. Right. You yeah. Know, if that. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. that. If they'll even do it. You know. Right. But um, so like, talk about that. I mean, you brought up a good point. What's What's this going to cost me? You know, I'm three gunner. I'm at a competition. And I drop my. You know, we, we run pretty standard rates. You know, uh, our pistols we run thirty, um, fifty bucks for shotguns, and uh, we'll talk about automatics. But usually they're in the sixty seventy dollar range. Okay. Uh, just like I say, you know, even though the ARs seem more complicated, we've been taking them apart for twenty five years. So I can take right. Them, yeah. But as a shooter, I mean, doing the competitions. You see the benefit of this, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just it's a con- saver, it's a convenience but, thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, some people l- are, you know, kind of real iffy about other people touching their, their stuff. So, what kind of what kind of warranty guarantees do you have? You know, you know, uh, if there's anything that happens, of course, you know, we're we're insured. We'll replace anything that that happens. Uh, but I don't. I mean, nothing. There's nothing really could happen. Yeah. I mean, no. just well, just uh, just for the nace, you know, the skeptical person out there. I'm a three gun. I'm in a competition, and let's say you I'm going to hand you my three thousand dollar pistol, and I got to shoot yeah. again yeah. tomorrow. You, are you going? You've got parts there. We on, do. We, like I said, we, we're, we're, we okay. have two service stations, and if, if we are doing a um, specific events like the cowboy action shooting, I usually have somebody there that's way more knowledgeable in those weapons than I am. If, if I'm not. Yeah. Uh, but we do have the parts and pieces. Uh, the thing about sonic cleaning is it's new to the gun industry. You know, it's been around five years or so, but it's been around 15 years in the. I mean, that's how they clean dental pieces. Yeah. You know, with sonic well, like I said, the so. jewelry business—they've been doing it for a long time. Right. So I mean, sonic cleaner. Like my not, mom it, had one back in the day. It's a little miniature. Little miniature one. Yeah. yeah. One other thing with this is he's talking about it. You know, you're worried about parts and pieces and things of that nature. Wasn't it at the governor's hunt? We had a guy bring in a shotgun, and he goes, oh, yeah, this is, well, after we cleaned it and took the carbon off, you actually saw that parts were broken. The gun was still functioning but didn't realize they were broke uh, until smart. that carbon was gone. Yeah. So Cal looked at him and went, hey, I don't have the part for this one specific shotgun, but this is what's happening. So you might you know, want to get that replaced before your next right, match. You know, yeah, we've yeah. had we've had a uh, blow your face off <laughs> older twenty twos. I got to take a look at pretty close. We did a few older ones, and the only thing that are holding them together is the carbon and dirt inside <laughs> oh, them. So wow. once so once you <laughs> sonic clean it, they don't it doesn't feel the same to them. You know, but yeah. um, most of the time we'll have those parts pieces. You know that uh, if there's anything that doesn't work on the shotgun, you know a lot of guys yeah. want to get it clean. Uh, Remington eleven hundreds are a big one with the gas tube systems on mm-hmm. them with that seal. You know we got all that on high hand. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they should cool. have a perfectly functioning weapon. So you guys make cool. sure you check out Calvin at River City Arsenal coming to a competition shoot near you. Facebook, uh, Instagram. Where are you based out of? Uh, here, South Dakota. South Dakota. And you're going to be traveling all over the United States. Uh, that's the plan. Where in South Dakota, what part of the state is that? Dead center. Dead center. Right okay. Yeah, Fort, my, my Fort mom Pierre? lives in Siston up, up, oh, okay, up north, yep. northeast. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah, we're right on the river there. Nice. So, Very Nick, cool. Dooley Defense. Yep. Uh, tell us tell us about Dooley Defense. Dooley Defense, I am a uh, firearms trainer. I uh, do a lot of that. You know, just like Cal was saying, I did a lot of uh, instructing for the military, stuff like that. I, I've gone and shot uh, on behalf of the state for uh, you know, Winston P. Wilson at our national competitions and things of that Are nature. Are you in San Diego also? 
No, South Dakota. Or South Dakota. San, San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota. Nope, yep, I, I live in Pierre as well. So okay, we, makes uh, sense. We do that. And uh, I got into it. I started to get into instructing because in our area, the the closest the closest instructor to our town, which is the state capital, was about 120 miles away. So you're talking a two-hour drive to get any sort of instruction. So I started my company because the army put a lot of money into teaching me how to train people. You found the need there, and you yeah. So I started yeah. filling that niche. Yeah, yeah. Now with that, you know, we've since expanded as well because, like a lot of guys, I'm deaf. It's part of the reason why I'm so loud. So because, <laughs> because the I'm truth deaf. comes out. There it is. <laughs> and the reason I'm deaf is because it took me a long time to find out silencers were legal and pretty easy to get. Yeah. So now I uh, also do NFA items in Class Three dealing. So nice. there's this thing nice. called Ear Pro. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When people are shooting at you, they, you know, that's so the last thing you want to worry about is putting something in your ears. Now, are you are you strictly in done. that area, or do you travel around and do uh, specialty classes for anybody? I, uh, I guess if somebody had a class they really wanted me to teach, I'd come around and do it. I mainly stick. I'm to telling our you, state. you want this guy? He's a hoot, man. He's a hoot. <laughs> I mainly stick to our state. I, I cover a lot of the conceal. I do an enhanced San Diego? Conceal. No, I'm sorry, South Dakota. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, a, we're a little bit more uh, more tolerant than San Diego. Yeah, yeah, a lot more. <laughs> no, but uh, with running that stuff, you know, I... Conceal carry stuff, carbine stuff. Yeah, all, conceal carry, yeah. I, I will do I do some carbine and then South a little bit of advanced. Dakota. And okay. then uh, with that, you know, I'm a competition shooter as well. <laughs> So a little bit of clinics, a little bit of nice. kind of jack of all trade stuff, but good just, man. You know, it's one of those things we're providing a service, and we travel around. You know, much like River City Arsenal does, going around to clean for people. We've also had it where I've involved him in some of my events where I'm doing a training class an hour away from our town because we have small towns that don't have a gun shop at all. Mm. You know, they got a county of three thousand mm-hmm. people, nobody's there. So we'll come up. I'll do the instructing. He'll do the, you know, the weapons maintenance side and go through all that. We team work some of that. Yeah, perfect team. Yeah, we're so ready. How do they get in touch with you, Nick? Well, uh, I also uh, have a website that's under construction because (laughs) I'm way better at pulling triggers than typing keyboards. So, well, and you guys are busy working, making a living too. Yeah, yeah, right. So So, uh, with that, it's Dooley Defense at Facebook, or you know, at Facebook, and then. uh, they want to email me. It's info at dooleydefense.com. That's D O O L E Y defense. Dooley defense. Yep. Yeah. Dooley. You you want to throw a number out there or no? Uh, sure. It's 605 280 8155. And if you, you lead heads and need to get in touch with him, you can just hit me up at talking at Gmail or just PM me and I'll put you in touch with him. And we're always talking about. And Calvin about, as well. Yeah. Always okay. talking about training. You can buy all those guns and I'll have all the cool stuff, but if you don't have any training, it's completely useless. So go take some classes. Right. Before yep. you guys leave, I've got a question for each of you. So, Nick, this is your first time on the show. It is my first time on the show. So, what does that <laughs> usually mean? That means it's time for the four questions. The new guy questions, right? Yep. Yeah. So, how did you originally get involved with firearms? Oh, to, so to, to do the whole cliche coming from the Midwest, you know, as a rancher and a cowboy, I, I was born with a, uh, with a shotgun in my hand. <laughs> in the crib, you had one in the crib, right? Yep. So, uh, I, I grew up, uh, we had a, a farm and ranch. You know, pheasant hunting preserve and stuff like that. I started retrieving birds with the dogs when I was like six, so I've literally been around it my entire life. So what uh, what was the first one that you could say was yours? This this is Nick's shotgun or the the first rifle I shot. I still own it today. It belonged to my grandpa who passed it down to my uncle who gave it to me, and it's a that's uh, the American way right there. Yep, Mark. it is a uh, 1959. Winchester Model 70 and 264 Wind Mag. Wow, nice. that is awesome. Now, are you still shooting that? Yeah, I still do. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Actually, yeah. That. Four generations of my family have all taken deer with it. So. Wow. That's that's, cool. that's very cool. Keep preserving that. Is that is an heirloom. Yeah. Yep. So. Calvin, how about you? You know, same thing. Grew up, grew up in South Dakota, so you grew up hunting. Uh, first, first uh, the gun I still have also is a grandfather hand me down. It's a Remington 1100 and 16 gauge. Still use it. Kids still grab it. Still shoot trap with it. Cost me an arm and leg to shoot trap with it, but you know <laughs> that's so do cool, it, man. But yeah, still got it. Very cool. Man. So obviously, I mean, you guys got the military background. Uh, anything you want to talk about for your from your military backgrounds? I retire in uh, February first. So congratulations. Active. I go on terminal leave, so that's uh, well, getting out of it. Done. Yep. Wow. 
I don't retire this year. I still have. <laughs> <laughs> still, I still got a minute left? Yep, I still have a minute left. I've uh, been in, see, I'm in year 17 now. I, I walked into, I haphazardly walked in as an 18-year-old kid who might have been a little hungover, walked into a recruiter's <laughs> office on uh, September 9th, 2001. Wow. And, and still and then, Wow. And then a couple days later, he called me, and I was like, well, yeah, but you said I could finish this semester, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, we need you now. Uh, come on, son. Yeah, yeah. He, he was just a pup when we went to Iraq. Yep, way back in the wow. day. Wow. So uh, you guys obviously served together over in Iraq. Yep. Uh, any cool stories you want to tell us over there? Some fun I don't stories? I we can put that out publicly. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we had Bad we had, times, you know. We had a lot of fun times. We had a lot of jokes where, you know, things like that have happened. We've gone through and had a uh, had a girl one time look over at someone who was, you know, walking around with a Barrett asking oh, yeah. why we didn't oh. have guns that big. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, my radio operator was a young female, and she great on the radio. Uh, I was I always double carried, so I had my my night two F S with me and a, and a sidearm M four. Go into the you know the big chow halls, you know, we all sit down, and there's these you know a couple snake eaters sitting there, and they're just kind of chatting with us. And she looks over, and he's got a you know deagle on his side, giant pistol. She looks at it, looks at mine, looks at it, looks at mine. She's I can like, see where this is going. She's like, this is way bigger than yours. <laughs> and they both look at me, and I was like, ah, jeez. Yeah. That was too easy. But that mine holds, easy. mine holds more loads. <laughs> Shoot straighter. So, so while you guys are over there, uh, there's you know, some you, downtime. Are you familiar with trench, trench art? Yep, I am okay. familiar with trench art, where the soldiers will put, scribe on their own weapons in the magazines and stuff like that. They'll make shot glasses or yep. some interesting yeah, yeah. tools. You guys do anything like that? You get bored? Did you come up with anything cool yeah. while you're over there like that? We built a couple gun trucks. I could show you a picture of one. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, well, that's, um, <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> that's push, legit. Yeah, yeah, push the beginning of the war. You know, we were way under foot in the military, not ready. None of us had a... I drove into Baghdad when it was burning in an open-aired Humvee with a saw in my lap. Jeez. Um, after that, you know, we were... We were taking a few hits, and they figured, oh, we need to arm ourselves up. So we grabbed you a think? 915 <laughs> tractor trailer, put a, a M, what, M181, oh, two-and-a-half-ton box on the back. Yeah, five-quarter-ton yeah. Humvee trailer. Built an eight-foot, <laughs> three-quarter-inch steel cage around it, around the entire truck, and uh, put a 50 cal and a Mark 19 on top and called her good to go. That qualifies that awesome. as trench art. Yeah, Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. Yeah, adapt and overcome right and there. And you've got right. pictures of that, you said? Yeah, we've got pictures of, uh, I think, all the gun trucks we built. We built okay. a couple more of them. That was the one that was real unique. Oh, i got to see those, man. you got to show those. That is cool. That'd I came awesome. out. My grandpa owned a hot rod shop, so when I was young, we used to paint uh, cars and everything. So I actually uh, painted a huge flaming devil head on the side of our five-ton gun truck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another E7 in the on camp says, you can't have that on. This is the most religious country in the world. <laughs> Shock and like, awe, bitches. Get used <laughs> to it. <laughs> I was like, not to me, they're not. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Thanks for sharing that story. That's really so when cool. It, when it comes to pop culture, magazines, movie, TV, books, uh, whatever it may be, what's your go-to that's gun-related? Well, obviously, Talking Lead. <laughs> and the other great shows the Firearms Radio Winner, Network. winner, winner. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> but uh, after that, probably my favorite uh, gun movie of all times, got to be Boondock Saints. There you uh, go. You like, the, you like both? Yeah. Yep. You know, I'll, and I'll I watch like the third one. I like when it them comes both out, equally. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good one. I'm anticipating the third one. So, yeah, yeah that's great. That's you. I'm I'm pretty boring. You know, I, I I tear guns apart, so I like watching YouTube videos of guys tearing guns apart. <laughs> who's your hey, Who's your go to? That counts. That counts. You know, uh, um, Brownells, their guy that that, that Brown does Ells, stuff. Yeah, yep. they do very they, they good. They got a great YouTube training videos, training yeah. stuff on there. You yeah, know, it's and, very detailed. Yep. Yeah, pretty yeah, dry, but that's, yeah, but it's that's, detailed. But that's what, what you want. I mean, you want somebody who's clear and concise, yeah. and this yeah. is what you do. So. Yeah, it doesn't skip over anything. I and find they, myself they a watching job. a lot of those videos yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, so, what's your next bucket list? Got to have, want to have, a gun or a piece of kit? Could be anything. Okay, well, this is where I start to get very dangerous because <laughs> since I have an SOT, uh, I really can get anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only problem with that is. I'd need to sell, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think she might have something to say about that. <laughs> I was going to say so your checkbook stand up here. What would you allow him yeah. to have next? <laughs> oh, she doesn't really get to pick because she has a problem with fine shotguns. Well, keep in mind, this is bucket list. This is bucket list. So, so, so this is Nick's wife. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Marnie. <laughs> Marnie, so, Marnie, what's your next got to have, want to have? I like shotguns. 
So I'm looking at an over under, but I haven't made the transition yet. Have nice. you seen Have you seen the the KSG shotgun? Do you have one of those in your arsenal yet? <laughs> the no. Furthest thing from an over under. All right. So when we get done, we're gonna sh we're gonna show you a KSG shotgun. We're gonna introduce you to the KSG. I think you'll be interested in that. No, but realistically, my next one will probably be a uh, another, uh, another long range rifle. Want to get more Sweet. into doing some of that? So you and me nice. both. Yes. Yeah. That's that'll be the next direction I move towards. And I bet you got a lot of a lot of places to shoot in South Dakota. Look at um, <laughs> Seekins Precision. Have you been by the Seekins booth yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. That had some really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's a there. nice like, gun, yeah. yeah. Nope, we do, uh, you know, it's it's not uncommon to do 500-yard shots on prairie dogs with my AR, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's a hell of a shot, Nick. Real quick, speaking <laughs> of that, uh, have you uh, followed up or looked at the uh, 224 Valkyrie cartridge? I, I've looked at it. I've seen some of the specs on it. I'm really wanting to dig my teeth into yeah, it a little, bit. A little That's bit. That's going to be real fun for prairie dog. Yeah, yeah. 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 speaking of long ranges, you know, i got 75 acres I live on, so when I want to zero a gun, I step out the back door and zero. <laughs> you gotta, you lucky know, son. Got a cement gong at 200 yards. And that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's cool that you can step out your back door and keep honing your skills, right. you know, at, at your own leisure. Instead of a gun box, it comes with a coyote pelt. Yes, it's awesome. What about you, Calvin? For guns? Uh, well, anything. Anything. You know, I don't know. I, you know, I retail a lot, too, so I got a lot of stuff coming through. Um probably get a new shotgun I, you know i like the chapa the 45s they're they're uh, just to cool. have one yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah there's no reason to have it other than it looks <laughs> like a space gun right yeah <laughs> so so laws be damned uh money be damned anything you can own anything what would you own an m2 for my jeep sweet <laughs> <laughs> yes an a10 warthog <laughs> Burp. Dude, <laughs> good that. one. Gonna, yeah. Really good. Gonna park? I mean, you went, you went vehicle, you went guns, you just went whole level badass. You just in one. Can one we make that right a squadron? <laughs> yeah, come hang out. That would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, what well. would you, what would you paint on the side of it? <laughs> Whatever I wanted. There you go. Exactly. Paint the uh, the flaming devil, man. There That'd be go. your first one. Yeah. Yeah, when we get cool. done, we'll, we'll, we'll show you some pictures of that stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, last question. Or maybe not. He may come up with another one. Uh, but if you could spend the day at the range with anyone, if they're still alive, dead, fictional, uh, a group of people, who would you like to spend the day at the range with? Well, I'm going to do the smart money answer here, and that's my wife. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like cheese ball. <laughs> but, but other than that, I, I would love to, uh, to pick the brain of uh, General George Patton. Oh, man. Yeah. That would yeah, be yeah. good. Absolutely. As long as you brought his tank, right? I don't even need to bring his tank, but he can definitely bring his uh, ivory handle pistols. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Classic. You know, I'd, I'd, always, yeah. I'd probably lean more on the military long range if you're Chris Kyle, stuff like that. You know, just, yeah. just be able to pick those guys' brains and, you know. And, uh, well, so I, I can interested. introduce you to the guy who trained him, Charlie Melton. Charlie just made the uh, world's longest uh, rifle shot also. That's uh, almost three miles. With a uh, five thousand twenty-eight meters or yards. Thank I you. Believe. Yes, yeah. you listened to the show, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and Charlie, Charlie is here, so and he's an interesting cat. So yeah, those guys is, interest me a lot. The, the, the long range, long, long range shooting. You know, yeah. It's yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's an art. It's both an art and a science, all, right. all wrapped up in one. And a lot of math. Yeah. 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 Snipers well. aren't scary because they can shoot good. Snipers are scary because they found a way to weaponize math. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have never heard that before. That is awesome. I love that. Did you have any, anything you wanted to hit him with? No. Any new guy I questions? No, I think these guys covered it all, man. Did a really good job. One more time, though, is get the social media for uh, for you. Oh, for River City Arsenal? Yep, River City Arsenal. Yep. Find, me on, find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram. We're out there. Uh, we'll have a website built here shortly. Um, yeah, we'll be traveling this summer, so look for us at your next shooting range. Awesome. And Dooley? Yep, and it's uh, Dooley Defense on all the, the big social medias. I, I don't know how to do that Twitter thing, but... <laughs> Twitter? <laughs> Are you on Twitter? I don't know. Twitter. All you got to do is, like, <laughs> when you go to Instagram, there's a little button. I just learned this. And you can post to Twitter, too. All right, well, maybe I'll get on the Twitter. Wait, yeah, don't you have technical guys over here that's supposed to be showing you this stuff? Yeah, they're right here. <laughs> they're right there. Yeah. There they go. So you got no excuses now, buddy. Yep, you're right. Nick, pleasure having you on, buddy. Thank you so much. I know I've seen you at a couple of the shows, yep. but uh, really great of you to take the time. And uh, you guys hanging out for till tomorrow, or 
We well, got to go out and have a drink tonight. That's what I'm getting at. So yeah. I actually yeah. got to fly out today. I got stuff going on back. Got home, work so. to do, man. Work, yeah. to, work do. to do. Yeah. We're we're flying out tomorrow though. We will be so. All right. Well, when you bring that truck to Tennessee, you make sure you call me. You bet. All right, guys. We're going to be back with the uh, coverage of the 2018 Shot Show here at the official lead quarters, Keltec. Woohoo! Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right. Okay, Lead Head Brigade, that does it for another episode of the Talking Lead Podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed that line of interviews that we brought you from the 2018 SHOT Show. Still got more of those to come, so stay tuned. And as you guys know, I just got back from the Big 3 East down in Daytona Beach. And we've got a lot of interviews from that coming up as well. So a lot of good stuff down the pike for you guys, and uh, we've got some uh, regular scheduled uh, show interviews coming up as well, so make sure you stay tuned. Support those that support the Talking Lead podcast. Without these guys, we wouldn't be able to bring this show to you guys as frequently as we do. Modern Spartan Systems. Check them out at modernspartansystems.com. High Threat Concealment, highthreatconcealment.com. And also go to uh, these, these companies' social media pages. Let them know that you listen to the Talking Lead podcast, that you're Leadhead, you're part of the Leadhead Brigade. You appreciate these companies and their support of the show, our Second Amendment, and our First Amendment. Right on Optics, R-I-T-O-N, right on the USA.com, the official optics of Talking Lead. x Steel Targets, x Steel Targets.com, VanQuest, VanQuest.com. Get your Talking Lead swag at 1776united.com. Our new Leadhead Brigade shirts are out, and we also have Leadhead Brigade patches. If you guys have gone and you purchased those, send me some pictures or tag us on your social media wearing your shirts or where you're putting your, your Talking Lead patches. I'd like to see that. That'd be very cool. And then we'd like to thank Keltec for being the official sponsors of the Talking Lead Lead Quarters during the 2018 SHOT Show. It was a great time with those guys. Appreciate Chad and Matt making everything possible for that. And then we've got coming up the NRA Annual Meeting, 2018 NRA Annual Meeting in Dallas. So if you lead heads are going to be there, make sure you come by the Eagle Imports booth. Uh, Lefty will be there doing the show with uh, Mike and Raphael. So make sure you guys stop by, say hey, and check out the great line of interviews that we're going to be doing from NRA in Dallas. And as you're visiting these companies that support our show, they like to give back. And most of them have a discount waiting for you leadheads as you're going and shopping at Modern Spartan Systems, x Steel Targets, Right On USA, and the others, High Threat Concealment. Use the code LEADHEAD, L-E-A-D-H-E-A-D, at checkout, and you're going to get a nice discount. And there are some of these other companies, uh, and Target Eyes had one set up. I don't know if they still do or not, but uh, you guys want to get a discount on that the cool training gadget that we just talked about in the interview there of Target Eyes from Matt. Use, the, use that code. If it's not active, let me know, and I'll get in touch with him and uh, see if we can't get that reactivated. Uh, and then Tactical Walls, you know our good friends over at Tactical Walls, uh, Tim and Chris have set up an awesome discount for you leadheads. Uh, so for your concealment furniture needs, go check out Tactical Walls. Pretty much anybody that you hear on the show, most of these companies, I work with them to get you guys some sort of a, a discount. Uh, some give more than others, but you know they give what they can. So you know, a little bit of something's better than nothing. So I hope you guys are appreciating that uh, that we're working with these companies and they're working with us and you guys. To, to help get you a little better deal on these products. And then if you've got comments, suggestions for the show, always shoot me an email, talkinglet at gmail.com. You can hit me on the Facebooks as well. Hit me on the, uh, the instant messages on, on Instagram. Love to hear from you guys. Stories that you've liked, uh, companies that you've liked, interviews that you've liked that we've done in the past. Uh, and then if you've got suggestions on future content that you'd like us to bring to you, shoot me an email, talkinglead at gmail.com. And of course, we're still doing some awesome giveaways 
for you guys celebrating our fifth year, five years of talking lead. We've had had a lot of winners this year, and we're going to continue to give stuff away. Next episode, make sure you tune in and find out if maybe you are one of the winners of something from the Talking Lead Swag Vault. We're finding you guys through the interaction, through the emails that you're sending us, through social media interaction. So make sure you're engaging and you're interacting with us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, our YouTube. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. Uh, Probably going to start doing some more of those in the upcoming future. But be engaging, interact with us, and you could win some awesome stuff from Talking Lead and friends of the show and sponsors of the show. So until next episode, Leadheads, as always, keep your loved ones close and your firearms closer. <laughs>